Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric 302 rotary desk telephone and this is Patricia's equipment from Connecticut and so basically this is the initial checkout she does have a note with this telephone and she's talking about how she was glad to hear that this telephone is most likely repairable and so we want to go through this unit we've uh, checked it out a little bit already and we want to try to save the original line cord if this line cord tests good, then what we're going to do is we're going to install a modular port adapter on this line cord. So Patricia can walk up to any modern day jack and plug the original line cord into this telephone and use it. We also want to go through the rotary. We want to oil, clean, and adjust the rotary. We also want to install a dial center ring and card with something to the period of the telephone. And we want to go through the receive, the transmit, the handset cord. And we want to show you something real quick that we noticed. I know that this telephone does not have any receive. And I want to show you something on the receiver capsule. But this is not why it doesn't have receive. There's other issues, and we're going to have to get into the uh, troubleshooting process on the inside. Some of the uh, receiver magnets here are loose, and we want to stabilize them. It's just a little preventive maintenance that we want to do. And so we want to take care of that and get that repaired and stabilized. So we'll set that to the side for now. We also want to show you the inside of this telephone. We'll show you the bottom here. And then we want to show you the inside. We want to go through the solenoids, the bells, the network, the hook switch, and like I said earlier, we'll be going through the rotary, oiling, cleaning, and adjusting that. So we have a little bit of uh, everything that we need to go through on this telephone. And we're going to take a short break because we want to get a start on this. And we'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. We went ahead and installed a modular adapter for the line cord so that's been taken care of we're also going through the bell right now we know that the bell does not work so we're going to have to work on the bell circuit we have uh, the hook switch closed we want to go ahead and plug our unit in and I want to use the analyzer to ring the telephone every time you see that red light go by that's a ring cycle we're gonna let that go by a few times I'll let it go one more time. And so we know the bell's not working. Go ahead and release the hook switch and we'll give you some dial tone. So we know that the bell is not ringing and we're going to go ahead and take a short break from the video and we're going to work on that circuit right now. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and the bell issue has been repaired, and so we've repaired that circuit and adjusted the bells. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and try the, the bells real quick. We'll ring them with the analyzer. I'll let it go one more time and we'll go ahead and stop the ring cycle so now we want to move on to some other issues I want to check the receiver cord the handset cord and I want to go through the rotary that needs to be oiled cleaned and adjusted and so we're gonna take care of some other things right now so we'll take a short break and we'll be right back 
Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with a repair of this 302. And so we want to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and installed our modular port adapter so that Patricia can walk up to this telephone and plug it into any modern day jack. And we were able to save the original line cord. The handset cord turned out to be bad. So we talked to Patricia about that and we went with a more to the period, more authentic straight cord for the receiver. We also repaired the issue with the receiver capsule that we showed earlier. The magnets were loose, they were stabilized, that has been taken care of. We went through the rotary that was oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. We also installed a dial center card and ring to the period of the telephone, and we'll do a still picture of that. We went through the network, we went and repaired the bell issue. The bells were not ringing, they were adjusted, and the problem has been taken care of with the bells. We also went through a little bit of everything on this telephone. We just wanted to check everything out, make sure everything was working properly, and so all the issues have been resolved. Now we want to start our final checks. And my customers call all the time and they are interested in some of the equipment that I use. And they say, why don't you, you know, explain some of the equipment and show us some of the equipment on the videos. And I want to show you a pretty handy little unit that I use uh, when I work on telephones. And this is to pick up the receive. So you don't actually have to hold the receiver up to your ear all the time. You basically take this unit here and you take the receiver and you set it on this unit and it picks up your receive and it amplifies it over to a speaker. And I use that all the time in the shop. And so I'm going to start using this a little more often in some of the videos because you can just set the receiver down and it'll pick it up and you can hear what's going on. And we use that in testing and repairing. And so I can kind of show on my checkouts with this unit and you'll be able to hear the receive. It'll pick it up and we don't necessarily have to put it up to the video any longer. We can start utilizing this piece of equipment, which is very handy. So now what we want to do is we'll go ahead and start our final checks. And we want to ring the telephone with the analyzer. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to let that go a few times since that was one of the issues. I'll let it go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. I'll turn my unit on. Now what I want to do is I want to dial our numbers out. So if you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch the analyzer and you see that red light light up, that red light is an indication of 100% transmit, 100% modulation when we transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle it's dialing out, it has receive and transmit, we can push this button on the switch box and that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number. Now I also want to mention about the old voice coils, the old uh, transmitters on some of the older style telephones. Once in a while 
you can get a little static through them. They'll send a static sensation sound through the receiver. And that's pretty common with the age of these transmitters. Now this one has a little bit of noise every once in a while, but it's not that bad and it doesn't really need to be replaced at this time. So, so everyone knows, you know, if you're on an older phone, sometimes it can be the receiver cord or the network or anything inside the telephone really. But in this case, and in most cases, that little static bit of sensation can come from the transmitter. They have uh, granules, carbon granules in the transmitter, and if they don't align properly or when they get older, sometimes they can create a static sensation and a noise. It's not a big issue at this point, and it's pretty common with older telephones. So anyway, we want to go ahead and make that call. We'll switch our unit on here and we'll lay our handset down. That'll give you dial tone. We want to dial our number. Good evening. Today is Friday, October 3rd. The time is 6.53. Current temperature at 57 degrees. Windy and cooler today, partly sunny skies, and becoming mostly cloudy showers and thunderstorm highs in the 60s, with temperatures falling into the 50s in the afternoon. Colder tonight, partly cloudy, then becoming clear lows around 40. Breezy on Saturday, mostly sunny skies, highs in the upper 50s. Okay. We can go ahead and hang up. We can call another number. We can call my number, and it'll be busy. We'll go ahead and start that, give you some dial tone. We can hang up, we'll turn our unit off, we'll set it to the side and see how practical that little piece of equipment really is. You can work on a telephone and you don't have to sit there and hold the receiver and you can hear everything that's going on. Pretty cool piece of equipment. And that's for the viewers and the customers that call in and ask questions about the type of equipment that I use in the shop every day. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Patricia and she can enjoy this telephone now. It's a very cool 302 Western Electric and they're very sought after, highly collectible and a very cool telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.